Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Hello, everybody. This is Darren. Welcome to Minecraft Lab Party. And for some reason, I'm completely dark. Huh. Do I have some interesting lighting challenges in 1.13? But uh, we are on 1.13.1 on the test server. So this is not the Minecraft Land Party server. I uploaded a recent world and wanted to test a few things. And having some problems here. Stuff and item elevators are coming up and they're getting stuck. They're they're getting stuck underneath the hoppers. They are going through and getting up into the hopper, some of them, but not all. And it's a bit of a problem. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do about this? So, I, and the reason I have water up there is because I had noticed the witch farm, the item elevator stuff, if there was a hopper up here, stuff wasn't getting up into it. But if I put a go up to water and have the water flowing over it did seem to fix it on one of the snapshots oops keep picking up slime balls uh so this is not uh this is not great so what are we going to do about it well <laughs> i'm going to keep picking up slime balls uh let me show you so here we are in a in a testing world that I set up. We're in 1.13.1. See right there, Minecraft 1.13.1. Uh, so this is effectively the design of item elevators that I had been using where they would fly up into here, get picked up by the hopper and moved into the thing here. But this started out down below as a full single chest of slime balls. And you see we lost three, almost four stacks to this. And they were getting lost by getting stuck underneath the hopper. So I started trying different things. And these are not in any useful order, unfortunately. But, so I tried saying, well, what if I just do my little water tricky thing and... Well, this is the closest I have to uh, right here after that where it flows over and I try to get the hoppers out of the item elevator itself and this isn't great either so on a couple different runs I sometimes I picked up everything on a couple different runs I lost three or four stacks so this isn't really any better than what I was doing so playing with different things I got some improvement by increasing the amount of the water coming up and then I decided to start playing around with the bubble columns and this so far has been maybe the best but there's been a few others like I tried putting the bubble columns starting right up towards the top and running into some interesting problems there let's see if I've got one here where I put the I know I tried it <clears throat> you can't have the bubble column right at the top so I tried doing this which is which is the not quite the closest but here's a problem stuff coming up through entities coming up through the bubble column would still get caught up underneath the hopper placing the sign here on the side of the hopper seems to help and the bubbles can flow through a waterlogged block I cannot move the soul sand block up one more because they cannot originate from a water logged block they have to originate from a water source block so this helped <clears throat> so basically got it down to where i was only losing on a fairly regular basis a single stack of items they would just get caught up there not great and i found by increasing the amount of water in the, the in the bubble column I was also getting, and this is without a sign on the back of the hopper, I was getting one or two stacks of loss and trying to 
trying a few different things using a trap door instead of a sign because the trap door has a hitbox and signs do not. This was not good. They would get caught underneath the trap door and try to extend it down and it's getting similar sort of results. So this here for space constrained stuff seems to work okay. I don't know why, give it as much water as you can. Stuff seems to shoot up really quick and then bounce over and get picked up by the hopper here. I was losing in my tests, I was losing something like half of a stack. Um, and the difference here being uh, that I was shooting objects into the side of the soul sand so that they were kind of had momentum this direction to start with so they mostly went up the left side of the water column of the bubble column and then got pushed over this way that seemed to help but it still resulted in some loss as I said I've got a one of them over here no loss so far so this here <clears throat> The solution is obviously to move the hopper outside of the item elevator area out of the three by three block. And I have yet to see this design. So I'm shooting, dropping, using a dropper to push the items up through the soul sand up into the bubble column. And as long as there's a block in between the bubble column and the hopper that's picking them up, this seems to work perfectly. But I had some others that are close and trying to come up with a way of uh, minimize this one works pretty darn good. So this occasionally I would lose one item out of a single chest, one item, not a whole stack. Stuff comes up here and by rerouting the direction, kind of what I found with some of the some of the stuff that I, I found on 1.12 by coming up there they if they <clears throat> stuff comes up the item elevator and if I'm pushing it just off in a direction stuff can sometimes seems to get stuck between the blocks but changing the direction of the water as it flows seems to help with that quite a bit and this was the most minimal setup I could I could find um, <clears throat> By, by doing stuff like this going further, this helped to minimize it. And again, got me down to the point where I was losing occasionally one one item, one slime ball out of, a, out of a single chest, which probably would be acceptable. But since I have a functioning solution and all of these also get the, the hopper outside of the item elevator, which I'm sure is helping the situation. But here, by moving it off to this corner, it gets it out of this position. This seems to help quite a bit too. So by moving it and moving the water in different directions, there's no bubble column. This seems to work pretty darn reliably. So if you absolutely are super constrained for space, this could be one way of doing it. But otherwise, this one here seems to be kind of perfect um it's pretty straightforward so it just involves a bubble column to give the the items some velocity now did i do one of these without the bubble column oh <clears throat> and this here was an attempt to <laughs> Yeah, ignore this one. <laughs> but this was an attempt to use the shifting directions in order to get the items, get the output, get the hopper basically in line with the item elevator itself. Of course, this requires space to the rear, so it kind of doubles the size of the item elevator. But And this uses two bubble columns. And the items come up, boop, and they shoot across here, boop. And I'm using the, the blue ice, but I think regular ice or packed ice would work as well. And I have yet to see any loss with this. Obviously, it's quite a bit more complex, requires more materials, but it works, works pretty darn well. Okay, so I am going to try... Wait, that... That one's not too bad. 
I'm going to take the one that I have listed as being no loss, and I'm going to make a copy of it in a spot where we can test something else. Hang on a second. Oh, well, that's interesting. So this this takes advantage of the fact that stuff floats in water. Floats in water now. I could also do the same thing and keep it in solid glass and just put the water up there. So this is a version that does not use the bubble column. It's interesting how some of the items float up fairly quickly and the stuff that seems to be dragging along the wall seems to take a lot longer. That's fascinating. Okay, this takes a few minutes for it to get through the entire chest, so we'll see how it finishes up when it's done. I also built a second variation that doesn't use any water, just solid uh, blocks, the, the glass blocks, all the way up to the water flowing. The items coming, getting sort of transported up through the item elevator seem to maintain a little bit more velocity this way than they do on the other one where they come up, they float up through the water. And this is the scenario in which I think I have seen stuff, uh, items seem to get stuck in between the blocks, but that's on a longer run. So this might be safe. So far, I've not seen any issues. This one is doing pretty well. Things do kind of pop out of the water a bit, but because they come up at the rate that they float up through the, the water, um, everything seems to be going just smoothly. So this one's almost done. Uh, but this one, let's load this up and see, let's get this running and see how they appear to come up because I know items through the bubble column just kind of shoot up quickly. Yeah. But they seem to hit the top of the block here. They don't seem to pick up the arc. They kind of flow along the top of the water here, which is kind of what you want. So that works well. This one is getting close to being done. So we'll, we'll check that when it is done. I don't see any signs of loss. I don't see an item sitting on the ground around here. I don't see anything stuck in between the blocks. And here, this is going well too. Even though they're they're kind of getting shot out of the water and that, that might be where it comes into trouble. So I still like this design. It's I think using the, the bubble column mechanics is kind of neat. And it, it definitely has been reliable. Okay. This one's almost done, but it's going to take a couple more minutes to get through all of it. Okay, so tests are done. So I took this basic design up and did it without the bubble column and only one test run so far, but nothing got lost, which is great. I also did it without the water column itself, right? Um, this one also just one test run, but no loss there either. So both of these three all look like good solutions. So by running the water over a full block before you get to the hopper seems to work. I also took this design which seemed to be super reliable and and kind of tweaked it a little bit so that it goes up and I added the bubble column just to see if that would work runs it over and instead of dropping into a chest right here I put it over uh, over one more where that could be another hopper that goes down into the chest um, we'll see this is attractive because it does take an extra block but only up here and it's only two blocks tall uh, and I probably could get rid of these three so it's really only one set of blocks here to keep this water from flowing all over the place and I haven't looked yet everything came through so, so far this one's looking good too again only a single only a single test run but um, this looks promising. I think I can make this work in the space that I have with the shulker box loader now. The only thing that I need to worry about is the, the dispenser which places the shulker boxes 
um, needs a, another hopper with another chest coming into it and that my I think that hopper kind of lives inside here as well but because it's in the corner it might be just fine so we'll have to try it and see how that works but I have a feeling this is going to be the design that I go with so anyway there you go some uh, uh, some Minecraft science for you on the item elevator realities of 1.13 and how it will affect current designs on the Minecraft LAN party server. So there we go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron and I will see you next time. Bye.